Okay, I've decided to make you this real quick video here about just keeping good housekeeping on your computer, okay? So we're going to be looking into keeping your desktop nice and organised. I'm also going to show you a tool that this tool here creates fences, they're called, where you can then categorise certain softwares and files and folders and you know they're there then, they're in a group, group them up together, you know? And also looking at your browser and setting a function where it's going to ask you where you want to download stuff instead of automatically downloading it into, say, the downloads folder. Now, the reason it's brought this on, well, to start, I have to be honest, I'm slightly obsessive compulsive. I'm very organized like that, quite a tidy person at home as well as on the computer. But I wasn't always like this on the computer. My desktop used to be a mess. I used to download things and I didn't know where they were. And I'd spend half an hour looking for something that I downloaded the day before. I know many of you are probably watching this now and you can relate to it, okay? Now, the thing is, is that you're obviously serious about becoming a full-time internet marketer. You wouldn't be going through this coaching program otherwise. That means that you're going to be spending a hell of a lot of time with your computer, okay? So it makes perfectly good sense to just categorize things and know where things are on your computer because I know too well it's surprising how such a little thing a laptop can have so much information and that you can never find it you know and it is all to do with your organizational skills it isn't the computer at fault it's the way you're arranging your files and folders and the way you're downloading things to your computer Okay, so I don't really need to run through examples here, but for instance, like all these folders, I'm not just talking about organizing your desktop. If you use like these graphics and images here, look, this is just looks like one folder on a desktop. If I double click this and open it, you're going to see folders and folders of graphics and images. That way I know they're there. This is a folder I use a lot for my websites. I use graphics and images for a lot of different things online. So this is obviously one folder where I want all the graphics and images in folders. I mean, if we open these up, there's going to be folders within folders again, okay? So obviously, rather than having them scattered around my computer, putting them into one folder and then onto my desktop where I know I can get easy access to it makes perfectly good sense, obviously. So that's the first habit I want you to start getting into is just to create folders and then place anything that relates to that folder inside that folder. So you're creating like a parent folder. By the way, if you want to create a folder on your desktop, I'm not sure about Macs, it's probably the same. You just right click on your desktop area, hover over new and just left click on folder look and then you can name that folder whatever you want and then you can just drop bits in there so if I wanted that in there and then if that was another piece of software that related to that I'd go ahead and drop that in there and then what I would do is use fences here which I'm going to show you in a minute to create a fence basically this is what these highlighted boxes are called and then drop the folders into there so I know they're there they're nice and categorized and organized Okay, so I'll take you to the Fences site in a minute. I think I mentioned it. It is free, by the way. You don't have to pay anything for this software. And surprisingly enough, Windows don't have anything that covered this. This had me baffled for a while. I was thinking, how can I organize my desktop? I've got all these folders and files knocking around now. I literally tipped Windows upside down and inside out, thinking there must be a way to create these boxes sort of thing. Because I basically saw someone else had it on their computer. But no, believe it or not, Windows are slightly behind there and you have to use an external application, which is super easy to use, by the way, guys. For instance, if I right click on my desktop again and just left click configure fences, there's only really three options you have. So you can create a fence, uh, label a fence, you just actually right click on the fence. I'll show you in a minute and adjust the fence which again you do off the page so to create a fence you just come in here and create your fence oh, I remember now so you right click and you just drag a box and that will create a fence for you so it's saying create a new fence here look so we'll create that fence then you can name it whatever you want so we'll call this Rick's fence for the dem demonstration Okay, and then if you would want to resize it, you just resize it and then you drop whatever you want to drop in there, okay? So as I say, good way of keeping your desktop really tidy. So phase one is to get your folders and files within parent category folders, okay? 
and then phase two is to organize your desktop put the folders and files that you're going to use a lot on your desktop and then categorize them with this fences application I'll take you to the site in a minute another habit I want you to get into let's go to my browser now now I'm obviously in Firefox this is going to be pretty much the same for Google Chrome and Windows Internet Explorer if we go to tools and then options now see here where it's got downloads save files to normally automatically your computer will whatever you download put it into your downloads folder by default now the thing with that is is that it's not much good I don't think because you can download something and then you will think ah oh, no I'll, I'll set that up tomorrow I don't need it just yet and then you forget it's there or you might put it in a certain section and you can't find that folder then the next day and believe me when I say I've been here I've done this and I've worked with people as well where I'll give them some data or some files and then two days later I ask them where the files are on their computer and they don't know they end up spending 20 minutes looking for these files that I only gave them two days ago you know so what I want you to do here is select always ask me where to save files then this way if you're downloading say a piece of software just download it to your desktop the setup file or the exe file however the folder or file comes and then you can just install it straight away and if you think you're going to use it a lot set a desktop shortcut icon on your desktop most applications will ask you if you want to do that when you install them okay so yeah I'd highly recommend you do that and as I say then if you download maybe a PDF document I have um, another application actually called eVault Manager now I don't believe this one is free but what you can do this is where I store all my PDF files and documents okay word documents things like that but what you can do is just go into your documents folder within your computer and just create a file that says PDF files or if you're in different niches then call it internet marketing PDF files or weight loss PDF files again you're just categorizing things you're creating parent folders okay to drop your baby folders within that folder if that makes sense okay so yeah again I'd highly recommend that ask where to save files and then you can categorize your files as to where you want to save them is it a document is it a piece of software you're going to be using is it a video if it's a video then again create a videos folder within your documents folder so you can drop it straight into there upon the download okay so let me close this window here let's just show you this site quickly I actually forget what it's called now but as the software is called fences common sense would tell me it's fences.com oh, this is it stardock.com forward slash products forward slash fences so let's click on here quickly I'll put the link for this below the video by the way okay let me scroll down and here it is you're only going to need this license here okay free for personal use don't worry about the pro version I only have the free version so you just go ahead and get your free download and as I say start categorizing your folders within fences on your desktop and just going to make your life easier guys I don't want you to be spending 10-15 minutes looking for a folder you know that's 10-15 minutes you could be spending doing something more proactive okay so uh, I think that's lecture over but a really important point there and I really hope you take that on board because as I say I've been there in myself in the past where my computer just ended up a mess as you know I'm big time into music and what with all my music folders as well I didn't know whether I was coming or going at one point with my computer and I work with people as well with computers now and I just think to myself my god how can how can you lose these folders you know or pieces of the software but yeah it's easy done it's just a bad habit it's all that's all it is is changing your habits guys okay simple little tweaks within your computer can save you a lot of time in the long run okie dokie so we'll wrap it up there anyway and do go ahead and get yourself that download you've got nothing to lose as I say it's free and I'll speak to you soon okay